Welcome to another episode of Monster Monday from the Ready to Die channel. This series explores the design of a creature I have built for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. The stat block for this creature can be found over on the Monster Monday blog, as well as the Twitter and Discord, all of which are linked below. This week, we're exploring some more arthropodal creatures with a build for a real 5-star bug, the Ladian. I normally have a formula to figure out the level for these sorts of creatures, and with the Ladian evolving into its current form at level 18, I thought I was good to go. However, when I brought it up in the Monster Monday Discord, they were certain that this poor little guy shouldn't be more than level 2 or 3. I went against the grain here a little bit, and settled it on level 4. This is in between my original concept and their suggestions. Now the beast trait does feel right for the majority of these creatures of from the source material here, given that they do express that higher sort of intelligence. However, I had a suggestion for the Fey trait from Sheratos over on the Discord, and that felt like a fantastic inclusion. There's some design influences in the Ladian that borrows from classic depictions of Alien, and this contributes nicely to depicting them as being from another world. Although in this case, it's the first world. When it comes to the actual numbers of the Ladian, I admit, its stats weren't reassuring, and it certainly isn't a particularly powerful creature, I avoided any specific roadmap for its design, and mostly just went with whatever felt right. It has a high dexterity as it seems the most appropriate stat for it, and also uses a wisdom right below that point. This is mainly meant to represent the Ladian's connection to the stars, as well as its high special defense. It uses a moderate constitution because I wanted its saves to be decent, again based on its innate resistance to special effects, and I needed a reason to beef up its HP just a bit which we'll talk about more when we get down to its defenses. It doesn't have a particular use for its charisma, leaving it low, and it also has a low strength since it is mentioned to throw a quantity of punches rather than a quality of them. I leaned into its bugginess a bit with a high perception, presuming that it might have compound eyes even if the simplistic art style doesn't really show them. As the Ladians are said to be fascinated with the stars and presumably out at night, they also have dark vision and this lore reason is also why it has a low bonus to its astrology lore skill. It's by no means a big part of the creature, but I thought it was a fun inclusion. Its athletics is also low, as it mainly just has this as an in-case option, but with its dexterity and general agility, it does have a moderate stealth and a high acrobatics, the former of which will help it avoid capture from pesky trainers slash adventurers. And that covers the basics of its stats, which means we can dive into the defenses of this dainty dweller in the dark. Where the Ladian has a less than stellar defense, the Pathfinder version of it only has a moderate armor class, which can make it a little easy to hit. This is featured despite it having abilities such as Reflect, but we'll cover that as we get into the abilities of this particular creature. Before that, I want to point out that the Ladian uses a moderate pool of health, which might actually seem a little low especially when you consider that, due to its typing, it has a weakness to cold, electricity, and fire. This might make the Ladian seem a little fragile, seem a little vulnerable, but the Monster Mash honestly went very well. I didn't even need to artificially prolong the creature's life, just so it could bust out all its tricks and traps. Where the Ladian does have a bit of its defensive power allocated is its saves. It features a high reflex and will save, and even its fortitude as it at a moderate bonus. On top of that, the Ladian gets a plus one status bonus to all of its saves against magic, which did certainly come in handy a few times in the test for it, especially when it is able to affect greater swings in those saves. However, we have one more thing before we can get into that, and that is the Ladian's meager offenses. This bouncing baby bug barely brawls, which is demonstrated by its single strike in the form of its fist. This uses a moderate attack bonus, and is compensated with the Agile, Finesse, and Parry traits, the last of which is a teensy tiny nod to its Reflect. I still wanted this creature to be at least marginally effective in Pathfinder, so it does also have a moderate damage value on this strike. Its focus is still on defense, as it is in its home game, but it isn't a complete and utter wimp here. With that, we have concluded the basics of this creature, we've covered it all, which means it is time to look at some of our Big Bad Beetle Buddy's abilities. Big Bad Beetle Buddy, Big Bad Beetle Buddy. Ooh, that one's a rough one. 
I'm going to start with Disquieting Buzz, which is a short-ranged aura that features a moderate DC. A creature that fails this save becomes stupefied, thereby lowering its ability to cast spells and just simply using them at all sometimes. This is partially a reference to the Ladian's fantastic special defense, but more exactly resembles the Struggle Bug move, which lowers the special attack of enemies, making it more difficult for them to use those spell-like moves. The duration on this stupefied is short, but it is a constant thing, it is a constant effect, so casters will want to keep on the move to avoid it. With the Ladian's considerable defensive capabilities, such as Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Shield, I wanted to make sure to include an ability to sort of represent them, which is where Starlight Shield comes in play, while also tapping into a bit of the Ladian's lore. This is a single action that requires the presence of the stars to fuel its magic, and both enhances the Ladian's natural resistance to magic, boosting up that bonus, as well as its ability to parry attacks. I like to imagine this creating shields of glowing light around the Ladian's fist, which it can use to ward off blows of enemies. While even here the Ladian has a focus on defenses, it is not entirely without its own means of fighting back. It's worth keeping in mind that the Ladian does sometimes have Iron Fist as a hidden ability, which empowers its punches, even if the only move that normally benefits from this is Mach Punch. This all leads into Rapid Fire Rumble, which draws some considerable inspiration <coughs> shameless death, <coughs> from the Hydra's Storm of Jaws. It takes three actions to do and grants the Ladian at least a guaranteed hit, though if it does actually land the blow, its damage gets up in the range of extreme with the two extra dice it gets. While not the most efficient ways of dealing damage, it feels right for this creature and certainly did some work in the monster mash. Alternatively, if the Ladian finds itself beset on all sides, it can rely on Struggle Bug. This allows it to make a strike with each of its fists all at the same multiple attack penalty but each of these strikes must be against a different target. You can't dogpile an enemy with these strikes. That's what Rapid Fire Rumble is for. This is based on the move of the same name, from our lovely Ladybug's home game, which can hit a multitude of enemies in a team battle. All in all, it is a fairly basic ability, but one that lends some versatility to the Ladian in regards to how it reacts to a variety of situations and pressures. But that does cover the build of this buzzing buggy buddy. A lover of the luminescence that lounges around the Lunar Lantern, this beetle barrages baddies with blows before bolstering its barricades to belabor battles. This monster came about as a random pick, because I honestly just needed something to build, but it was fun to explore, specifically with the intent of trying to make a more defensively based creature. Even the focus on its defenses being arrayed against magic made it very unique, and again, just kind of fun to build, kind of play around with. That being said, I would maybe try to avoid throwing this at your party full of marshals. They will squash that bug right quick. Other than that, be sure to let me know what you think of this monster and what other creatures you'd like to see down in a comment. You can check out the blog or Twitter linked below to see other versions of this creature, as well as some discussions on encounter hooks. Thanks for watching, and have a monstrous Monday.